How's it going everybody? Welcome to another Large Family Reviews. And today we're gonna show you how to sprout the best beans. At least what we found out, hitting it pretty hard every day, over a month or two. But uh, here we have some beans that are two days old. These are one, one day old. I just did them last night, so they're not even a full day. They're not really sprouted. Some of them are starting to bust open, but you can see the size difference already. Uh, we could eat these today, or we could wait till tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably wait one more day to make it a little bigger, but. So now, we gotta do some new ones, huh? So let's show them the best way we do it. We use only one third of a cup. Some people use a quarter cup. Some people use a half cup for a regular standard wide mouth mason jar. We like to use a third. You want to put it in there? Yeah. All right. It doesn't have to be perfect or nothing. Oh boy. Can you do it? Only spilled one bean. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's how nice it is. Nice job, nice job. And now we gotta get some water in there. Doesn't take much. And this is our secret that we found helps sprout all sprouts a lot better. It's a little bit of distilled white vinegar. That is what this is. I had to double check and make sure. And we just use like just a little, just a little, little bit there. Right? Just, just a little bit, just a little bit. And we take our mason top bean screen, and these work great for beans, by the way. And you just make sure that vinegar is all nice and makes a good solution with the water. And then we'll let this soak for about five to 15 minutes, and then we'll come back and let you know. All right, so it's been about five to 15 minutes. And as you can see, the water's all already getting a little milky getting some of that outward coating on there so you just come over here and make sure you rinse them a lot of times really good with that vinegar you want to get the vinegar off sometimes i'll even come back and smell it to make sure it doesn't smell like vinegar extra good yeah every time i smell it to make sure and then it's pretty good now, so I'll give it one more shaker dry a little bit. And now we're just going to let some soak for about 12 hours. We're going to let this soak covered for about 12 hours, and then we'll come back and let you know what we do next. All right, fast forward about 12 hours, and you can see they're getting swelled up in there. So now we just run it through the rinse process for a few days. And this is all it is right here. It's so simple, but you don't know if no one told you. And then some people will rinse it once. I like to rinse it a few times, like two, three times at least, especially when it's hot outside and humid. And that's another thing, the heat will make them sprout faster, and the cool, non-humidity will make them take longer to sprout. But you want to keep them in dark place and I'll go show you where I keep mine right now. All right. And over here in the corner of this little room is our sprouting center. Voila. Yes, a pillowcase works great because it's very breathable and you can get a dark one and it keeps the sun out pretty nice. And we got our stuff just set up here. And you want to make sure your tray is not too high. You want air flowing through down here. But here we go. This is brand new. After one day, after two days. And you could eat the two-day ones now or wait until day three and they'll be a little higher. There'll be more stuff, bigger roots coming out. But sprouting is great. And these beans are really nice too. We got these from Handy Pantry. And they're very nice, guys. This is five pounds of beans. Like, this is going to last us so long. We went through a pound pretty quick, but it's got garbanzos, uh, green pea, ezuki, 
which we're learning to like a lot. And then of course the old classic mung bean. Very high sprouting percentage with these. These are quality, quality stuff, guys. So uh, that's our broccoli radish. We're probably gonna eat those today. But yeah, so there you go. Zero, one, two. And you just keep rinsing them off every four to six, maybe eight hours. Every eight hours is safe. That's about the minimum I would do it. Three times a day, three times per 24 hours. And you just keep rinsing them, rinse them two to three times each, and you'll have yourself some pretty sweet bean sprouts, guys. Hopefully you learned something, and hopefully you have a beautiful day.